Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. The globalists have controlled the mainstream media for a long time, but now they're expanding, making the weaponization even more vicious and deceptive. All the major networks are state-run. We are partnering this year with the NFL. The NFL has become a political weapon against the Second Amendment and pushes Obamacare. MSNBC tells us that our children belong to the state. We have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. It is more important than ever to realize that we are not the alternative media. We are the true media. The establishment dinosaur press is dying. We are in an information war, and we are losing that war. Join us at InfoWarsNews.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. Members can share their memberships with up to 11 people. By subscribing, you will literally be buying war bonds in the Info War to expand our operation in the face of the tyrants. Join us at PrisonPlanet.tv. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. stand up to us, then they all might stand up. Those puny little ants outnumber us a hundred to one. And if they ever figure that out, there goes our way of life. It's not about food. It's about keeping those ants in line. The Alex Jones Show. Because there is a war on for your mind. HGTV cancels show after host outed as closet Christians. See, I played the MSNBC host clip during the break that came out and said your kids basically belong to the state, but said the community, the village. Well, our society's in trouble because people aren't worried about other people's kids. And it's true that kids are raised by a village in a good society. Hillary said that. But when they say a village... They mean a globalist corporate village programming your children to be dumbed down and submissive. Just like when they say sustainability, they mean you can't have a garden, it's a giant reservation or plantation, you're under their control, you can't have lemonade stands, you can't have farmer's markets. So, so they say one thing, they do another. So they've traded out one overt autocratic, uh, what you could call patriarchal tyranny, with a patriarchal globalist tyranny, that sells a fake feminist CIA Gloria Steinem feminism, which is declassified, to break up the family. So we're really back to old-fashioned slavery. And then we have aggressive dominant males that are a select cadre enforcer 
for the system. But the average male is not even turned into a male or a female. The average male is turned into a drone. And that's the brave new world, folks, as Aldous Huxley said, that's the real plan, not 1984. Now, I'm going to shut up because we got her to the end of the segment. Alice Walker, AliceWalkersGarden.com, Pulitzer Prize winner of the book, The Color Purple, giving her powerful perspective, very truthful from her perspective. And it's important to see all the perspectives. But I agree with much of what she's saying here. Now, David Knight's got some very interesting questions. I don't want to give her the floor to get into any other topics or things that she's focused on. But David Knight's got some great questions because he's a, a follower of her work. Well, uh, Alice, uh, you know, I, I saw as, as I watch your background, I mean, it, it seems like you're very much grounded in the earth and natural things. Uh, one of your books has a, a chicken on the cover and, and you talk about how, uh, how seeing that when you were abroad brought back memories to you. I see just the opposite happening, unfortunately, in our country. I see them pushing people off of the small farms into the cities and kind of an Agenda 21, if we want to put a label on it. It's a very, very broad agenda in, in Michigan. They're telling people with, uh, with small farms, with uh, backyard chickens that they can't do that. I mean, It's pitched as liberal, yeah, but it's not. It's exactly. ultra-fascist. Can you, can you speak to that? Does that concern you? I'm sure it does. Hold on a second. And can you hold that thought? Because I have a thought that I want to just... Sure. Positive. Yes, go ahead. It's about Gloria Steinem. Uh, I really am concerned uh, about her and the way that she's portrayed. I think that that's not right. Uh, and that, that that should be looked into a lot more. Uh, and that, you know, that symbol that she's making in one of your... I just saw it on your on your screen. Yes. She told, that's the symbol for the vulva. It's not an Illuminati symbol. It's the symbol that women make. It's the triangle, not a pyramid. Uh, so things like that should really be uh, looked into deeply because we don't want to hurt good people uh, just because... Well, I understand. I mean, I'm aggressive, male the whole nine yards. And I think what I'm saying is Gloria Steinem, and I understand at levels she wanted to empower women, but, I mean, it did turn out she got funded by the CIA. But that was when she was very young, and a lot of people are funded by... You know, scary people, they don't understand when they're young. Uh, she's not funded by the CIA today, uh, nor is her work in any way. Sure, sure. I mean, I appreciate the fact that you're standing up. I mean, is she your friend? Oh, yes, of course. And she's the friend of so many people. She's a very good person. And it's not necessary to, to hurt good people in order to show what a mess we're in. I mean, no, no, I understand. Look, I'm not trying to make enemies. And, and, and I mean, in, in the past, I was really even more aggressive. It's just that I think I've demonized her in my own mind. So tell me how I should investigate Gloria Steinem more. Oh, you can read her books. Uh, you can maybe go to one of her talks. You can meet her. She's, uh... No, I agree with that. If I'm going to say things like that about her, next time she comes to Austin, or, or, or if I'm going to be somewhere and say New York, I need to go to a book signing or an event, mm -hmm. and I, or I need, we need to ask her for an interview. Okay, and you know that that symbol again. I'm so concerned because we don't want the vulva, the symbol for woman, which is the triangle, the vulva, to be at all confused with the Illuminati because it's just sure. the opposite. It's more earth-based. Well, explain to me what your view of what the Illuminati is, because I'd love to hear that perspective. <laughs> well, uh, I suppose it's it's the control. You know, it's the ultimate uh, earth kind of control of people and thought and. Uh, art, uh, you know, the kind that gets, you know, all of the, uh, most of the support and attention. Uh, and I don't know, you know, but I'd rather go back to what David was sure, sure. talking about. Yeah. David? So, 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 yes, yes, David. Um, yeah. The, the, I guess it's kind of exactly the opposite of what we see on this this technological push to mm -hmm. genetically modify everything, the singularity that Ray Kurzweil wants. I mean, I, I come from an engineering background, too, and as I get older, I am more and more drawn to uh, agrarian uh, connections and, and, and pushing back against this technology that's out of control. Absolutely. No, and that's right, because if we can't raise our own chickens and have our own gardens, we're done for. Mm -hmm. Really, I mean, we're at the mercy of these people who've taken over the seed supply. Yes, <clears throat> and you know, spraying their ready Roundup and all of that, uh, and it's, it's just it's unbelievable how they snuck that through. You know that we are at the mercy of people who don't understand a thing about the earth. I mean, they they don't get it. Uh, well, you know what? I think they, they do. They, they want to kill it and override it, and, and and as a total act of domination and become God. That's what exactly. they've said. Yeah, yeah. 
And that's when you do start to think they're not from here. Exactly. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, and they're really pushing back on that. You know, there was something else, too, I, I saw in uh, when Obama was nominated, uh, well, I, at his inauguration, I should say, uh, you made a comment. You had some advice for him, and that was to not make other people's enemies his own. How do you feel about the direction that things are taking? Yeah, get her to quantify yeah. six years later. Yeah. She was at the inauguration. What do you think of Barack Obama? Well, I was speaking in that uh, instance about, uh, you know, not becoming enemies of the Palestinian people just mm. because Israel uh, is enemies with the Palestinian people. Uh, and unfortunately, he has totally kept to the side of Israel. And this has been a huge, you know, beyond disappointment, a pain you know, in the heart, because I've been there. You know, I have been there, and I've tried to get there and was turned back from there. And I know what the people are suffering, you know, and I know I don't want to be a part of it. And yet, as a taxpayer, you know, all three of us are involved, I mean, because we pay taxes, and, and all the Americans who pay taxes, we are involved in, you know, at this moment and for such a long time, they have been literally arresting and torturing children. Uh, and, and, you know, waking them up in the middle of the night and dragging them out of bed and taking them off and, and you know, beating them up. And, you know, things that, it, this is on my website. Um, go and look, look if you want to. There's some AliceWalkersGarden.com. Mm -hmm. and, and they've been droning and the men, droning. women, and children. And, and, that's, and, and the warmongers in the Republican Party are, are saying he's not doing enough. Well, 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 well you know, this is, this is where you really start to worry about uh, the lack of empathy. Which, yes. which is our downfall. If we, if we have no empathy in our leadership, and we don't seem to have any or very much, uh, but what future is there? But my feeling is that obviously this is to show us that we don't have, you know, what we need in place. We need something completely different. And I propose that we have a system which is guided by indigenous wisdom, and especially the indigenous wisdom of indigenous women who have never been heard from. And they have been the caretakers, not only of the men, but of the planet, forever. I mean, it's just so sensible. Well, I know this. What is running the planet now uh, is, <laughs> is, is, is not of this world. And uh, it, 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 it is certainly uh, just absolutely diabolical. But look, Obama clearly is compromised, just like McCain would have been. But but McCain wouldn't have been effective. He couldn't have gotten all these wars going. He couldn't have backed Al Qaeda publicly, though he does now, supporting Obama in Syria and Libya and everywhere else. Obama, as so many people have said, like Cynthia McKinney, former congresswoman on the show, isn't the lesser of two evils. He's the more effective. They can get the whole agenda through with him. If you criticize anything he's doing, you can be called racist while defending, you know, against real racism that's going on. It, it, it's, it's creating balkanization. Obama has been the technocratic 21st century uh, beta test. He is the model of things to come. Uh, and uh, it, it has just been a master stroke of the technocrats. What's your take on that? Well, I think that's true. I think that that was a master stroke, and I think that they will pull out a master stroke at any point. I think we need redirecting, or uh, that we need to have our hope revived. Now, they'll pull out a woman next time, and they'll continue to figure out what it is that we will go for, and we will go for it because we are, you know, how we are, uh, and then we'll be disappointed and sad as we are now. Uh, and that will just continue as long as you have this particular system. That's all it's good for, you know, making us hope and wishing dream and then disappointing us. I say this because I've been working, you know, 50 years trying to register people to vote, just trying to do this and do that. And what do I see? I see so many of our youth in prison, you know, 2 million people uh, in prison and a lot of them young people. More than that, yeah, about people of color. So there's like three million now, and and then they've got like three or four million in the system on top of it. Um, and when you got when I go around to college campuses, and I'm shocked at how few people of color there are. I mean, there are a lot of Asian students, but because you know their parents have money, but um, I I don't see many, many you know African American people on these campuses. And then everybody's being brainwashed by the television and a fake plastic culture. It is a disaster zone. I mean, either young people are either awakened and having a quickening or they just aren't even there.
I don't care what color they are. I mean.